overall Saskatchewan is seeing fewer hospitalizations from opioid poisonings this year compared to last. That's according to the newest report by the Canadian Institute for Health Information. But the province's biggest cities are still troubled spots compared to other big cities in Canada. Regina had 70 hospitalizations due to opioid poisonings in 2016 to 2017. That gives it the nation's sixth highest rate per 100,000 people. In the same time period, there were 84 in Saskatoon, a slightly lower per capita rate. The data means Regina and Saskatoon are faring the worst for opioid poisonings among prairie cities. Dr. Peter Butt says it signals a problem and is certainly concerning. The report isn't all bad news though. Butt says more hospitalizations could mean fewer overdose deaths. I think it would be important to look at the number of people that are dying province to province from opioid poisoning to see whether or not this is a good news story that people are surviving here and getting to hospital rather than ending up as coroner statistics. He credits take-home naloxone kits for saving lives. They still often require a trip to the ER but mean people can survive the overdose if given naloxone in time. The report says the majority of opioid poisonings in Canada are accidental, meaning the user was not intending to overdose. A prescriptions specialist at the College of Physicians and Surgeons says that signals a need for more preventative measures, mainly education, making sure opioid patients are getting the information they need about dosage and effects so they don't end up in the hospital or worse. Mickey Cowan, CBC News, Regina.